Have you ever wondered how you can change non-changeable buttons on your Galaxy Watch 4 like Samsung Pay or Bixby? You want to have a better experience, you want to remap that to an app that you want to use, right? And I hear you saying it's not possible, man. No, it's not working. Well, it's more like that nobody has shown you this yet because everybody's focusing on mainstream stuff. Look, the only reason we know this is because of you, because of people like you who share important findings with our community. So consider subscribing because you don't know what YouTube is going to recommend to you tomorrow. It may change and you will never see something as important as this ever again. Okay, here's how to install the app called Galaxy Watch 4 Remap that lets you change all the hardware buttons on your Galaxy Watch 4. Yes. Step number one, please make sure your Android phone and your Galaxy Watch 4 is on the same Wi-Fi network. This is important. Please check that now. Step number two, enable the developer options by going into settings. Go to about watch all the way to the bottom. Go into software and keep tapping software version until you see the developer option enabled. Step number three, enable developer options. It's now visible because you just basically enable it. Go down there and tap on ADB debugging. Do this. Don't forget to turn this off after we've done this is important, but tap for uh, tap on it for now, ADB debugging as well as debug over Wi-Fi. Once done, you will see a whole bunch of numbers. The imp only important part here is the IP address, which we can also get later, but in doubt, just write it down now. That's the most important part. Step number four, go to the phone that is connected to your Galaxy Watch 4, but also connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Go to the Google Play Store, download the application that is called Bug Jäger. Step number five, open the application you have just downloaded and then connect it to the Galaxy Watch 4. And here is how you're going to do this. Press the little icon on the right hand side to add your device. And if you have installed Google Assistant or what's up before, one of you've seen one of the videos I've done, uh, you may have already a valid IP address showing up here. If not, if it is blank, enter the IP address you have seen earlier, you written down or that you, the one you can find in ADB debugging or your Wi-Fi settings. Step number six, install the file, which you will find in the description in my video description here below the ADB. APK file. Basically, all we do is sideload the application for your Galaxy Watch 4. We do this by simply selecting the file by pressing the plus sign here in the Bug Giga application on the top. The file should come up right away because it's the last file you downloaded. If not, check your target download location and take it from there. Once selected, it will automatically install the app. So it's basically right away usable. Once installed, open the app. You can see the icon, the shortcut now in your app shelf on your Galaxy Watch 4. Just tap on it. A couple of things we need to do for setting it up, but it's super easy. Okay, we may have missed a couple of steps here, but we are now at step nine. Toggle on Galaxy Watch 4 remap enable that's the first thing you will see when you open this baby up i forgot counting next step scroll down to installed services click on it next one click on galaxy watch 4 remap toggle on and you will be greeted with a small message that's okay press okay here that's it you can now use it i'm going to show you how to use it when you start it for the first time you will see a blank screen with a little plus icon on the left hand side Press the plus icon and you will see two lines. The top line is your source location, meaning the hardware button you would like to remap. The bottom line is your target location, meaning the app you want to have. Instead, by pressing it, this little bookmark icon, uh, click on it and you will see multiple choices. Then you can choose the app um, you want to have instead. Okay, let me know how this works for you in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Peace out.